Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 17. We're going to be talking about uh, turning a profile on after an event only if it was previously on. And uh, basically we're going to use uh, a variable for whether, testing whether or not a profile status is on. And then based on that we're going to do some things uh, so that we know whether or not to turn it back on. Um, now the way we're going to the way I'm going to show you how to do this is we set up a profile uh, to announce who's texting. And that was uh, 101 text received. We received a text and it triggered this task which announced who's texting. However, if we were on a phone call, we don't want text to be announced because when we're talking on the phone, we don't want things to be being announced. So we created this 101 on call so that anytime we get a phone call, uh, it triggers... Uh, a task to turn this profile off and then when that call ends it turns it back on uh, so the problem with that might be that works if you're like me and you pretty much always want your phone to announce who's texting but maybe you don't want your phone to always announce who's texting maybe you only have your phone announce who's texting when you're home or when you're driving but if you're anywhere else, you turn that off. And you may turn, come into Tasker and turn that profile off, or you may have a, a uh, shortcut on your home screen to uh, turn that off. So, if you, so let's say you came into Tasker and you turn this profile off, because you're out, and then you got a phone call. Well, at the end of that phone call, your exit task would turn it back on, regardless of the fact that you had it off to begin with. And you don't want that to happen. If you had it off to begin with and you didn't want text to be announced to you, then just because you get a phone call doesn't mean you want that to change. So that's what we're going to address. We're going to address that issue and I'm going to show you how to, uh, uh, how to set it up so that it only turns it on at the end of a phone call if it was on before the phone call. So... Uh, we're going to just edit this uh, profile that we set up previously. Um, in case you didn't set this up, uh, just to show you, basically we had uh, uh, the uh, profile was based on a, a state, and it was call. I chose phone, and then call, and then any. So whether the phone call is an outgoing call or an incoming call, either way, you want this to uh, trigger. And then the task that we set up, the first task or the enter task for when that call starts is to turn off text received, uh, which is the uh, uh, profile that would announce who is texting us. So we're going to add some activities to this. We're going to uh, click add activity. We're going to click variables and we're going to choose variable set and we're going to uh, create a new variable uh, text texter say say stat which is my abbreviation for the texter say status and we're gonna say let's set that to one I want to set that to one if uh, the uh, 101 text received profile is active. So we're going to say if, and then we're going to use a built in tasker variable, and it's all uppercase, and it's p active, p active, and we're going to say matches, and then we're going to put the name of the uh, uh, profile which was 101 text received R E C V D and uh oh, there it is and it must match exactly so this is the name of the profile that we have set up to announce uh, the person who's texting us and this is a built-in variable that 
test to test if a profile is active. So if P active, profile active is what it stands for, if P active matches 101 text received. That means if if that profile is active, if it is turned on, then it will set this uh, variable that we're creating to 1. So we'll go back. And now we're going to add a, another task. And we're going to choose, or another activity, we're going to choose variables again. We're going to use variable set again. And we're going to use the same variable we just created, texture say stat. So we're going to set that to zero if, and then we're going to use that same built in variable, p active. And we're going to say doesn't match 101 text received. So when you say if P active doesn't match, that means if this profile is not active, is not turned on. So basically we're saying set this variable to 1 if 101 text received is active, matches active, or set this variable to 0 if 101 text received profile is inactive. And what we're going to do is we're going to move these up to the top. So it'll measure whether or not the profile is currently active. It'll set this variable that we created, texture say stat, based on whether it's active or not. And then after it's done that, then it'll set text received to off. Because that's what we want to happen anytime we're on a phone call. Now what we need to do is go to the exit task. When that phone call ends, we have it set up to turn text received on. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to add an if statement. Turn that on if, we're going to go to the uh, variable we created, texture say stat. Texture say stat matches 1. And that's it. So basically what we did is we created, we edited our inner task. So when a phone call starts, Tasker is going to look at 101 text received and see if it's on or not. Is that profile active? If it is on, then it's going to set this variable to 1. If it's off, then we're going to set this variable to 0. And then it's going to turn the profile off either way. Because whether it's on or off, it'll turn off for sure when you're on a phone call. And then when that phone call ends, the exit task is turn text received or the profile that announces our texture, turn it back on. But only do that if the variable is set to 1, which would only happen if the profile was previously on. So for example, you can see it's red not right now. The reason it's red right now is because text received is off. So if we were to get a phone call right now, it would trigger this. It would... Uh, set the variables and it would turn the profile status off. It doesn't matter that it's already off, it's just not going to do anything. And then when we ended the call, it would not turn this on because the uh, variable does not match one because it wasn't on to begin with. But if it was on, then the variable would be set to one and so it would turn it off when the phone call started, but turn it back on when the phone call ended. So, fairly simple way, just using, using variables to test something and then setting a variable based on whether something is a certain way, in this case, whether a profile status is on or off, and then using that information at the end of a task or at an exit task to determine what you want to do. And that's basically all there is to it. And so, uh, that's how you can set up 
uh, this particular profile that we created before. Um, but you can also use that same concept with other things to test uh, if something is a certain way at the beginning or before something happens, at the beginning of a, a profile, and then do something at the end only if it was a certain way at the beginning is basically what we're doing. So that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions about this, then please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any ideas, suggestions, tasks you're trying to figure out how to do, feel free to put those down there. That is pretty much what uh, 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 most of my lessons are coming from now, is things that uh, people are saying they wanna figure, they're trying to figure out how to do or wanna know how to do. So feel free to leave those kind of comments down there. Um, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, favorite this playlist, and uh, share these videos with, uh, or this playlist with uh, anyone you know, kind of people who are interested in this kind of stuff. And uh, I'd appreciate it. That is about it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.